I have an object hanging on the ceiling with two ropes. Okay, A and B. I'm going to find out the tension of A and the tension of B. Then the best way, so I'm going to make a triangle just like this. Right there. Now I have two right triangles. So that's right. I can use sine, cosine, things like that, right? Let's look at this triangle. Oh, that's right. Hypotenuse is the slant. So oh, I must split this one in x component and y component, right? So x component, I call ax. <laughs> y component, I call a, then y. What about the right hand side? That's right. This one must be b, y component, right? This one, that's right, x component of b, that's it. Now, let's look at the left hand side first again. Okay, so x component of a equals, first of all, a times. Okay, then this one is adjacent, that's why cosine 30. That's it. So right hand side is same thing. Okay, so b, okay, times cosine 30. Main thing for this one is this. Okay, this object is not moving to the left, not moving to the right. That means, oh, both x components are equal. That's what we call equal equilibrium. Uh-huh. Let's make the equation. Okay, that's it. So, A cosine 30 equals B cosine 30. So, oh, so A equals so B cosine 30 over cosine 30, right? Oh, right. Now we can reduce cosine 30 and cosine 30. That means A equals B. Oh, that's it. Now we are looking for, that's right, so y component of A, okay, which is A times sine, right? So A, then sine 30. What about the right hand side? B, then sine 30. Very simple. Now everybody can see this one. See? Y component for this portion and y component for this portion together make 1000 newtons just like this so a sine 30 plus b sine 30 so equals 1000 newtons now this b right here or instead of b i can plug a right because a equals b so now Oh, uh, that's right. So we have this one, 2a okay, sine 30, so equals 1000 newtons. That's why we can reduce this one, right? So divide by 2, so this can be 500 newtons. Or you can reduce 2 and sine 30, because sine 30 is a half, right? Okay, you can do that. Okay, then means a equals 1000 newtons. That means automatically A and B exactly the same. Okay, that's why B also, okay, 1000 newtons. That's it. I got A and B. B also 1000 newtons. Fantastic. Okay, what about this? Now, I'm going to split this one. Oh, that's right. Two right triangles. That's right. X component first, right? which is cosine. Oh, that's right. This one is a B cosine 30. Oh, what about this one? That's right. So A cosine 60. Equilibrium also equal. So that means A equals right there directly. Okay, that means oh B then cosine 30 over cosine 60. So cosine 30, that's right. Square root 3 over 2. What about this one? 
square uh, 1 over square 2, right? Uh, divide by that, okay, actually, that's right, square 3. That means this one equals A equals B, then square 3. That's it. Now, Y component of left-hand side, which is what? That's right, sine 60, but A, right? Uh, A sine 60. What about this one? Oh, B, cosine, uh, sine 30. That's it. Together, A, sine 60, plus B, sine 30, equals 1,000 newtons. Then, A, then sine 60, square root 3, over 2, right? Okay. Plus, okay, now, instead of B, okay, let's do that one later anyway. So, B, then, sine 30 is a half, right? Okay. Equals 1,000 newtons. Now, instead of A, I'm going to plug B square root 3, right? Okay. So, B square root of 3. That means square root 3 times square root 3 is going to be 3. So, 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2, which is what? 4 over 2B. 4 over 2 is 2. That's why 2B. That's right. So, 2B equals 1,000 Newtons. That's why B equals, that's right, 500 Newtons. So, B is going to be 500 Newtons. Okay, right there. This one. So, 500 Newtons. What about A? Well, all we have to do is just plug in, right? 500 right here. Okay, that means, oh, that's right. 500 square root 3, okay, Newtons. 500 square root 3, Newtons. Okay, let's look at this one. Oh, very simple. So, we go right there. So make the two right triangles. For this, you know that that's a cosine 45. This one, b cosine 60. Should be equal, right? Equilibrium. So a equals from that. Okay, so b cosine 60 divided by cosine 45. Actually, cosine 60 is a half over cosine 45, 1 over square root 2, right? Then this A is going to be, okay, this one. So we saw this one, square root 2 over 2, right? Okay, that means square root 2 over 2B. So you can do that. Now, Y component, right? This means, okay, this one's so A, which is sine 45, right there. What about this one? Oh, that's right. B sine 60. Together, A sine 45 plus B sine 60. So together, so 2000 Newtons. Sine 45, 1 over square root 2. Then A plus B, which is B, then sine 60. Sine 60 is square root 3 over 2 equals 2,000 Newtons, right? Instead of A, so I can plug in square root 2 over 2. Oh, that's it. So now I can reduce square root 2 and square root 2. So that means 1 over 2, B, right? Uh, which is B right there. So, so we're going to solve this one. Okay, square root 3 plus 1 over 2, right? Together, because I have B plus square root 3 over 2, B. Together, just like this one, B. Oh, that's it. So, equals 2,000 Newtons. So, that's why B equals, so 2,000 Newtons times, Okay, so flip over this one, right? Oh, that means 
2 goes on the top, then bottom is going to be square root 3 plus 1. Then we can rationalize. Okay, square root 3 minus 1, square root 3 minus 1. Then uh, the bottom is going to be 2. That's why we can reduce the whole thing just like this. So end it up. Okay, square root 3 minus 1 times, okay, 2,000 Newton, right? Now we found this one. That's right, B component, okay, which is uh, 1,464.2 Newtons. Now, instead of B, so I'm going to plug this one, 1,464.2 Newtons, okay? Then, uh, divide by 2 times square root 2, right? So, the tension of A is 1,035, 1,035, okay, point 0.3 Newtons, just about. It's very interesting, right?